Hello and welcome. Today we are in the tier 10 French destroyer, the Kleber. But not just any Kleber, we're in the legendary upgrade Kleber. The latest patch introduced legendary upgrades for ships that didn't have them before at tier 10. Not all of them, but quite many of them. And one of these ships is the Kleber. Her legendary upgrade goes into the last slot instead of the reload or range upgrade and it reduces your ship detectability range by 20%. However, as a downside, it does increase your main battery reload time by 80%. This puts your main gun reload time at 12 seconds, 11.3 seconds if you have basic firing training. But it does reduce your concealment range with all the other concealment things down to 6.2 kilometers. And this essentially makes you go from a gunboat into a torpedo boat because it effectively cuts your HE damage output in half. To put this in numbers, with basic firing training, you only have 84k HE damage per minute. A stock Shimakaze has 135k. A Shimakaze with basic firing training has almost 150k. Which means that uh, even with your reload booster that doubles your HE DPM, you're still not that much better off than a Shimakaza. And once your reload booster falls off, well, the Shimakaza out DPMs you quite hard. Now, that's fine, you're essentially playing like an F3 Shimakaza. However, there is a massive downside. And that is planes. You don't have an effective way to protect yourself from CVs. You don't have a smokescreen that you could use, unlike a Shimakaze. You don't have good anti-air. Hell, Kleber's anti-air range is only 3.8 kilometers and it does not that much damage. And your air detectability is still relatively poor. 3.5 kilometers is quite massive. Compare that to Shimakaze's 2.74, for example. This means that CVs can spot you rather easily and then be able to try to strike you, whereas Shimakaze is small enough that it's possible for Shimakaze to simply try to dodge more, more or less because the CV has to fly quite close to actually be able to spot the ship. But that's not the case in the Kleban. And this means that when you're in a CV game, you know, such as this one, you're not gonna have a fun time because the CV keeps striking you. And apparently this uh, FDR really, really, really likes me as you can see by the fact that she keeps trying to drop on me. I even took the torpedo by accident earlier. There was a torpedo in the middle for for some reason. Although I think she kind of messed this drop up, unless she wasn't trying to aim for me. Regardless, I'm going to be okay for now. But I mean, she's probably going to come back with planes that are somewhat more effective against my ship. Meanwhile, keep in mind that to actually deal any damage, because my guns are really weak now, I have to get within 8 kilometers of an enemy ship to try to torpedo them. So all in all, I think this legendary upgrade is really bad, because after you take it, your guns are really weak and you can't really fight anything with them. You're, to torpedo anything, you still need to get within 8 kilometers of an enemy ship. And to, to, to top it all off, you don't have an effective way to defend yourself against CVs. You don't even have a smoke screen to try to disengage or to try to silently cap while a CV is flying on top of you. And now keep in mind that this doesn't even account for radar, right? There's I'm lucky that there's only one radar ship in this game and it's the Des Moines on that side of the map. That's why I was also so apprehensive at the start of the game, because I didn't want to push into them as, you know, the CV or the radar could easily screw me over. I'm also kind of lucky in this match that the CV seems to be busy striking other targets rather than me. I think if uh, the CV was more open to trying to take me out of the game, I think she could have easily done it by now already. Although, maybe if there's more Richthofens, it's not as bad of a deal. I'm gonna try to torpedo this Tappets. Um, the nice thing about the Kleber is that she does have torpedoes on both sides of the ship. And they do reload quite quickly and they deal a lot of damage, they're fast. Like these are great torpedoes, but you do need to get within 8 kilometers to actually be able to use them. I could do a turn so I could launch them from both sides, but sadly it seems the FDR is um, coming for me. 
straight ahead and there's nothing I can do about it. There are no ships to hide behind, there's no islands to hide behind, I don't have a smoke screen. And not only do I have to deal with the planes now, the tepids I just torpedoed is probably also going to come and uh, start shooting me. If not even other ships. So I need to dodge. I need to wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. By the way, these are dive bombers, so hopefully it won't be do too much damage to me. Okay, that did a lot more damage than I was hoping it would do. Not good. But I am my torpedoes are reloaded on this side. Well, one set anyway. And I should be able to tarp the tappets again. I'm gonna turn away again because the CB is coming back from the other side. I was trying to get closer to this fighter plane here. And I mean, it's going to be effective, I think. Should lock on. Ooh! I think Roosevelt got too close to my ship or something because she couldn't start a drop in time. I don't know why she turned around, but that's very good for me because it does mean that she's leaving. Ooh, and I hit more torpedoes, and this time she is flooding. Okay, come on, can we dodge this? Not very effectively. I am at 2000 HP left. This isn't looking too good. Yeah, I feel that the legendary upgrade probably isn't the greatest choice when there are... when there's the potential of aircraft carriers being around. Although at least we're gonna sink that Tuppets, I think. Maybe, if we get lucky. And we kept two bases, so at least we did something this game, right? Could be worse. Okay, come on, planes are dropping. This time I'm diagonal. I'm also gonna turn in. Hopefully this will make the bombs overshoot my ship. Oh yes, oh yes, we managed to avoid them. Or I guess the CV missed, but damn, that was a lot of bombs in that drop. I can see why I was unable to avoid them. Anyway, since I'm so low HP and that Tapets is low HP, let's try to get a fire going on her so that she goes down. Um, I mean, uh, I'm kind of, my game's kind of over anyway, right? Because the CV is coming back again and somebody's gonna take a shot. I only have 1900 HP left, so might as well try. But we're gonna still try to turn in and dodge. Come on! 700 HP. CV is dropping again. <laughs> and he missed! Yes! 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 Also, I would like to say that our Richthofen has played really well here. That Richthofen has given me multiple fighter planes here, and she actually went and finished off that Tepitz. Like, this Richthofen is a great player. At least, when it comes to me, right? She has done well by me. Anyway, the CV is coming in again, but the Richthofen's fighters have managed to finish them off. Which means that... For now, I'm gonna be fine. I'm gonna sail towards that Monarch as quickly as I can. Maybe I can get my final torpedoes in before the CV comes and finishes me off. I mean, the CV doesn't even have to actually attack me. At this point, the CV has to just spot me so that somebody manages to land like one shell on me and then my ship is gone. I mean, the adrenaline rush is right now quite nice, but I think I would rather prefer the HP at this point. Oh, the CV actually picked torpedo bombers. This means that she's probably not gonna come for me, at least, I mean, look, she's sailing in a, d or flying in a different direction. So I should at least be able to torpedo this monarch fine, although it's still possible that the CV might simply come and fly over my ship, and then somebody fires one shell that hits me. Sadly, my, one of my torp tubes was permanently broken on this side, so I have to turn my ship around to drop uh, salvos two and three. But it does appear that the Monarch has already dodged my first set of torpedoes anyway. Hopefully number two and number three won't be uh, as successfully avoided by her. The question is, what do I do now? I guess I could just try to sail towards that Yamato. Maybe we can get torpedoes off on her. Or maybe we need some follow-up torpedoes on this Monarch. That's also a possibility, right? The torpedo reload is quite quick because, well... The initial torp reload on this ship is already fast, and now we even have Adrenaline Rush to help us. Oh, she's gonna take quite a few. One, two, and three, and that's it. Goodbye. Ooh, this, this gave me a devastating strike, which activated my special captain's ability. Now my guns reload slightly faster. Now we would only lose by a huge amount rather than a gargantuan amount when we fight an enemy destroyer. 
And that's given that we had the same HP, and we could actually fight them. Sadly, we can't. I think I'm gonna drop some torpedoes in the Shimakaze direction here, because I think she might be sailing in my direction. In which case, these random torps might be helpful. Oh, the CV's bombers are flying over here. Come on, please don't spot me. She seems to be on a different course. Oh, I think she isn't. 900 meters was between spotting me and, well, death. Ooh, there's the CV. Maybe I could go for the CV. That would be something, right? That would mean revenge. I'm gonna go for the CV. I'm just gonna go for the CV. Because I'm sure I can at least finish the CV off if I can get close. Sadly, the torpedoes won't reach the Yamato. Even if, you know, she would be there to get hit by them. But I'm gonna go after the CV. All I need to do is not get spotted by the CV. If I can launch my tarps before that, she probably won't expect them and my torpedoes can uh, hit her for a lot of damage and maybe then we can finish her off with guns. And she launched she launched rocket planes but she flew in the uh, on the other side of the map which means that she doesn't expect me at all I think. Stay out of the detection range, launch the torpedoes, turn the ship around, launch the third set of tarps and then I guess we'll open up with AP because we're on the broad side. Now do note that I tried to sail at least somewhat to the side of the CV so that all of my torpedoes wouldn't just miss because the CV is standing still and I would have launched them from the front. Now back to AP and we're gonna open up with a reload booster because we really wish to be able to get her out of the game. I think that will guarantee our victory although we are already ahead you know it's still possible that um, they might come back with the CV around. But without the CV and us having one, I don't think it's very likely. Damn, that's a lot of damage this AP is dealing. Now imagine if I were a regular Kleber, could have just done all that damage with the guns themselves. But the CV is gone, and now it's only the Des Moines and the Asashio. I'm gonna try to sail towards the Asashio at first with HE. And if I meet her, I'm gonna just open up and hope that she just doesn't get to kill me before... I get to deal some damage. Oh, there's the Asashio. Oh well, she was taken out. There were a lot of ships there, so there's only the Des Moines left. Time to sail closer. I'm gonna swap the AP and uh, after I fire my Ichi salvo, but then I'm gonna swap the AP, I think. Because I have 23mm penetration since I don't have IFHE, therefore I cannot uh, penetrate the deck armor or side armor or bow or stern of the Des Moines, only the superstructure. And it's kind of small on a cruiser. So AP it is with reload booster. Let's go. Oh, she's showing. Never mind. The CV finished her off. I didn't go down this game. Unbelievable. I mean, look how low I got so early on by the CV. And then I was alive even at the very end of the game. And that's not because I was passive. I just, I just pushed through and did a lot of damage. 178k damage with my Torpedo Kleber. Clearly, the uh, Legend upgrade on the Kleber is very, very good. Right, guys? Right? I didn't struggle at all this game. Look at how much damage I did. Damn, that Richthof ended very well, though. He definitely deserves a compliment. So, here's the damage. Well, I only hit four ships. The FDR that I sank from full HP. Half of, about half of the Monarch and actually more than the Tepets at HP. Again, I definitely don't recommend this legendary upgrade. It just doesn't make sense. So let's go over the commander skills and upgrades. But again, I don't recommend playing it this way. So I went with priority target, last stand, survivability expert, concealment expert, obviously. Then I figured that, um, well, my torpedo reload is actually already fast enough, as you can see. It's 77 seconds, and I have torps on both sides. I probably don't need too much torpedo reload boosts. So instead, I figured I would go for um, the main guns. So I went for basic firing training, expert marksman, and then last, jack of all trades. Because jack of all trades will get me more speed boosts, so that should be quite useful, and also more gun reload boosts. Because any time I expected to run into a destroyer, well, I would still need to fight them most likely. And if I use Reload Booster, 
Well, I can more or less fight them fine, I think. It shouldn't be that big of a deal. And obviously basic firing training helps with that. In terms of upgrades, I went for obviously the legendary upgrade here, improved camouflage patterns. Then obviously concealment systems modification one, because we really do want our 6.2 kilometer concealment. And the, uh, well, this slot, I went for propulsion, mostly because, I don't know, I, I really, I recently I really like playing with my speed. And this helps it quite a bit, or at least it makes me feel like it helps it quite a bit. In the third slot, I went for faster torpedoes, because none of the other things really matter that much. Second slot is obviously engine boost. If I didn't have this, I would go for engine room protection. And in the first slot, it's obviously main armaments modification one. So yeah, again, I definitely do not recommend using the legendary upgrade on the Klebao. It just doesn't make sense in my opinion. Maybe if it like swapped out reload booster for a smoke screen or something, maybe. Okay, maybe. But with the way it's currently, no, 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 absolutely not. I absolutely do not recommend it. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I would like to thank the patrons on Patreon. Thank you very much for your continued support and I hope I'll see you guys next time.